What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find a possible range of lengths of a third side of a triangle, right? So here, it first gives us two lengths, 8 feet and 12 feet. So we're just trying to figure out what this third side can possibly be, okay? Now, the way that you do that is just by adding up your terms together. So since we have three terms, we're going to come up with three inequalities. And the way that you set those up is just by adding all your terms together, and we can start with x. So here we can just say that x plus one of our terms, so let's just pick 8, and we're always going to say is greater than the other term, so 12. Okay, now let's flip these. Now we can say x plus the other number, 12. And this time we'll say it's greater than this guy, 8. Right? So we're just flipping those. Now the last combination is just adding the two numbers together. So we can say 8 plus 12 is greater than the last term x. Okay, so now here we're just going to solve for x in each inequality. So starting with this first one up here, uh, solving for x, we can get rid of this 8 by subtracting 8 from both sides. Those cancel out. So then here we just get that x is greater than 12 minus 8, which is 4. Okay, now for this one over here, uh, to solve for x, let's get rid of this 12 by subtracting 12 from both sides. Those cancel out. So then here we get that x is greater than 8 minus 12, which is negative 4. Right, and then lastly, we have this one over here. 8 plus 12 is equal to 20. So then here we just get that 20 is greater than than x, or we could write it the other way, right? We can say x is less than 20, right? So we can say x is less than 20. Okay, so here's our three answers. This is our range. But one thing you might notice is we have a negative number here, right? Here it says that x can be greater than negative 4. But the thing is, you can't have a negative length, okay? So you kind of want to just disregard whichever negative answer you have here, right? And we'll just use the other two. So we'll have x is greater than 4 and x is less than 20, right? So that's the range. So if you wanted to, you could write it as x is greater than 4, but x is less than 20, okay? So this missing side can be any length that is between 4 and 20. Nice. All right, let's try one more here. So we have 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, and again, we're trying to figure out what the third possible length can be, okay? So again, we just want to set up our three inequalities by adding these th three terms up in three different combinations. So the first ones we can always start with is x. So we can say x plus 6 is greater than 6, okay? The other one is x plus the other 6 is greater than this 6. Okay, so that's kind of redundant, obviously. So you don't necessarily have to write that, but I'm going to do it anyways in this example just to keep it consistent, right? So it makes it a little bit easier to remember the process. And then the last one is, again, adding the numbers together, right? So we're going to say 6 plus 6 is greater than x, okay? Now we can solve for each of these, right? So in this first one, x plus 6 is greater than 6. Here we can get rid of this 6 by subtracting 6 from both sides. Those cancel out. So we get that x is greater than 6 minus 6, which is 0, all right? And then this one's going to be the exact same, right? So we could just write that right here. We could say that x is going to be greater than 0. And then lastly, here we have 6 plus 6 is greater than x. So 12 is greater than x. Or we could write that the other way again, right? So we can say x is less than 12, right? x is less than 12. Okay, so here are our answers again. And these two are obviously the exact same. So our range is just x is greater than 0 and uh, this one down here, x is less than 12. Okay, so our third side can be any length that's between 0 and 12. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.